What if the color of your eyes was more than just a physical trait, carrying clues that trace back through countless generations, from the pale blue shades common in the far north to the warm hazel tones seen across Iberia, every hue can be connected to a deeper past. In this video, we're going to explore how eye color and ancestry are intertwined in fascinating ways. The main force behind eye color is melanin, the pigment that determines how much light your iris absorbs or reflects. The amount of melanin you have is controlled largely by variations in the OCA2 and HERC2 genes. Research also suggests that eye color distribution can show slight gender differences, with studies observing that men tend to have blue eyes more frequently than women, possibly influenced by hormonal factors. To understand the story of human eye color, we can start with the deepest and oldest shade found across our species, brown. This color developed in early human populations alongside the environments they lived in. Shaped by intense sunlight and the need for natural protection, Brown eyes contain a very dense concentration of melanin, acting as a barrier against ultraviolet radiation. This gave ancestral groups near the equator a clear advantage. You may hear people talk about black eyes, but in biological terms, these are almost always extremely dark brown. Under bright lighting, hints of brown or red usually appear in these irises. When we examine global patterns, brown eyes dominate in many regions. Sub-Saharan Africa and East Asia have extremely high levels of brown-eyed individuals, hovering around universal percentages. North Africa shows slightly more diversity, with hazel and green shades appearing occasionally, and even rare gray eyes among certain Berber groups. Europe, however, displays a much wider range of variation. Southern European populations, such as those in Greece, Spain, Italy, and Portugal, have a much higher proportion of brown eyes compared to northern Europeans. A number of factors play into this contrast, including long-term climate differences as well as historical interactions with neighboring regions. Southern Europe, over many centuries, absorbed more influence from North African populations, which helps explain the greater frequency of darker eye colors there. This brings us to blue eyes, which are strongly associated with European origins. One of the most well-known ancient examples is Cheddar Man, a hunter-gatherer who lived roughly 10,000 years ago in what is now England. Genetic analysis shows that he possessed the mutations in the HERC2 and OCA2 genes that reduce melanin production, giving rise to lighter colored eyes. Blue eyes contain so little melanin that their color actually comes from the way light scatters within the iris, similar to how the sky appears blue. Today, blue eyes are the world's second most common eye color, found in about 8-10% to of the global population. They are most frequent in northern and northeastern Europe, especially in places like Finland, the Baltic region, and Scandinavia. The long dark winters of these regions may have helped favor lighter eyes, which tend to handle low light conditions efficiently. A study published in 2024 suggests that blue eyes may provide better performance in dim environments giving ancient hunters a visual advantage in darker landscapes. Blue eyes appear outside Europe as well. In North America, a significant percentage of the population has blue eyes, mainly due to European immigration. Across Latin America, blue eyes are present at lower but still noticeable rates, reflecting European admixture over centuries. Waves of migration, colonization, and mixing help distribute blue eye genes far beyond Europe's borders. Now let's turn to hazel eyes. This color, named after the shades of a hazelnut, accounts for about 5% of the world's population. Hazel eyes occur in many different ethnic groups, but are especially common among people with Brazilian, Middle Eastern, Irish, Spanish, or North African heritage. In one study, more than half of a Spanish sample group had hazel green shades. In the United States, hazel eyes are also fairly common, reflecting the blended ancestries found there. Hazel eyes often have a shifting appearance, sometimes leaning more green, other times more brown. Their melanin levels sit between blue and brown eyes, and they usually contain the yellow pigment known as lipochrome. This combination creates a multicolored effect, often giving hazel eyes a dynamic, changing look depending on lighting. Their coloration comes from a mix of light scattering and intermediate melanin levels. Another striking eye color is amber, known for its uniform golden or copper tone. Unlike hazel, amber eyes typically do not display multiple colors, but instead show a consistent yellow-orange appearance. 
This shade comes from a high concentration of lipochrome, combined with low to moderate melanin. In animals, amber eyes are widespread. Wolves, cats, and certain birds of prey often display similar hues. Because of this, amber eyes in humans are sometimes compared to wolf eyes. Among people, amber eyes are rare, found in roughly 5% of the world's population. They occur most often in parts of southern Europe, the Middle East, the Caucasus, and certain regions of North Africa and the Americas. Amber eyes are often confused with hazel or light brown, which makes their exact global distribution harder to measure. Next are green eyes, one of the rarest natural eye colors, appearing in only about 2% of people worldwide. They are strongly associated with Celtic and Germanic ancestry and are also historically linked to populations in Northern and Western Europe. Countries such as Ireland, Scotland, and Iceland have some of the highest concentrations of green-eyed individuals. They also appear in Scandinavia and Germany at notable levels. Green eyes form an interplay of moderate melanin levels and lipochrome pigment, combined with blue light scattering. This interaction produces the distinctive green hue, Historical genetic mixing seems to play a role in how green eyes emerge, likely appearing in regions where both blue eye and brown eye lineages came together. Some ancient DNA research indicates that green or blue-green eyes may have existed among Eurasian populations during the Bronze Age. Another rare eye color is gray. Estimates vary, but gray eyes likely occur between 1% and 3% of people worldwide. Like blue eyes, gray eyes have low melanin content. But scientists suspect that additional factors, such as increased collagen in the iris, may influence how they scatter light. Gray irises sometimes display flecks of yellow or brown when viewed closely. Gray eyes are most common in northern and eastern Europe, including countries around the Baltic Sea, parts of Scandinavia, and Russia. Historical groups like the Vikings may have helped spread this trait across various regions. Interestingly, gray eyes also appear in a few unexpected populations. Some Berber groups in North Africa, such as the Shawiya of Algeria, show relatively higher frequencies of gray or gray-blue eyes, likely due to ancient Mediterranean or Eurasian gene flow. Occasional cases of gray or blue eyes are also seen in the Middle East, Iran, Afghanistan, and northern India, reflecting the deep and complex migrations that have shaped these regions over thousands of years. Across all these colors, brown, blue, hazel, amber, green, and gray, we can trace a record of how humans adapted to their environments, moved across continents, and mixed with one another over thousands of years. Modern genetic research, including ancient DNA studies, continues to reveal how these eye color variations first emerged and how they spread through prehistoric populations. Your eye color isn't just a physical detail. It's a small window into the migrations, climates, and ancestral histories that shaped your lineage long before written records existed. As scientists decode more ancient genomes, our understanding of why these colors appeared and what they can tell us about early human evolution becomes clearer with every new discovery.